I've got it. It's loading. Okay. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Uh oh. You got him? I got him. Uh -oh. I guess so. Yeah. Can I pull this one? Yeah, that's a good one. Still made here for a minute. What's going on, Tom? It's a big fish. Another big fish. I let the line. He started working the bait. I lifted the rod straight out really, really carefully. I didn't want to move the bait. And then the rod slowly started to load. Just as it started to pump down a hair. Boom! Hammer him like the hammer of Thor. And he's there. That's what? 12 straight. Nice fish. I'm starting to get fisherman's elbow. Who ever heard of that? Right, we're gonna have to chase this big boy. He doesn't even know he's hooked yet. He really doesn't. I think you never know how big they might be. They might be 40 pounds or they might be 400. Oh yeah, there he goes. He's just starting to figure it out. There's a lot of current. Go ahead, go over. Coming over you. Still don't. There's <coughs> one enough stream on me. That's a good sign. What's that? That's a good sign. Yeah. He doesn't really know what's going on yet. Oh, there it goes. Okay, I'm gonna need the belt. Alright. As soon as I get cleared here, I'll just go ahead and let it all go. Yeah, pressure. On your right, buddy. You know you got a big fish when you have to go to the belt. Yesterday was like lifting weights for today. He's swimming upstream on me in the current. And he's taking a line like, look, look at that. Woohoo, baby! Tear me up! Swimming upstream. Big water, too. Wow. I've never had a fish do this. If you got a latch you can put to my belt, make sure that fish doesn't pull me in. <laughs> wow, he's swimming upstream in this current. How fast is the current, Charlie? That's a good 10 to, 10 to 12 mile an hour. Look at him. He's tearing me up! Holy smokes! Put the clicker on. I can do. Hang on for the... Hang on for the ride. Woo, baby! He's gonna run into a ledge here in a minute. He's gonna double back on me. I know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No! Down the ledge. Here he comes. Good. Turn around on me. I know what you're up to. I know what you're up to. I've had big steelhead do this. They run right at you. You get the slack on the line, get that hook out. All right, he's right in that edge of that ledge, in that fast water right there. Oh yeah. We got a little island right down here. Look at you He's push the drag even more. More curly? Uh, push it all the way forward to see what you're going over there. Oh. You don't want to be over there. 
Uh, this fish knows every trip in the book. He's been hooked before. There's no doubt about it. Fish is smart, this big. Man. Whoa, I cannot move him. I got the drag cinched all the way down. On an Avet two speed reel. Holy smokes. This is incomprehensible. The idea that you can do something that is incomprehensible is pretty extraordinary. You do it right here and I'm doing it. Oh yeah. Have you ever seen a fish swim upstream in current like this and yeah. stay there? <laughs> yeah. Holy smokes. That's that submarine that came up here in the Wow. <laughs> Look at it, I'm cinched down all the way. And he, he's just pulling it out. It's like standing on an overpass, let your line down and hooking a truck going past. And then say, okay, I'm gonna turn him around. Oh. Yeah. Uh, try to drive you up to him? Yeah. Man, I, I cannot move the fish. Now we're chasing him. He's swimming upstream so fast, you gotta get that mercury trolling motor almost full throttle. He's still, he's still gaining on us. deep are we? Well, yeah, he's at about 25. He's got, your, he's got that sinker wrapped in a rock. Yeah. We're going to fire up the big motor and get above it and pop it up. Oh, the sinker's wrapped in a rock? Yeah. So now what happened? So he's got the sinker wedged in a rock right now. We're going to fire up the big motor and get above him in that fast water. Try to pull that pull that weight out. Pretty confident we'll get it out. Happens a lot. smart fish. Okay, he's going. Got it forward. This fish knows every trick there is. First he played possum, then he ran upstream, and then he swam right at me. Now he's wet the sinker and rock. Thank you. I don't know. came off. All right, cross over, Tom. Go over the other side. It's 
not always about the size, sometimes it's about the battle. Right now I'm losing. I'm just holding on, he's taking off downstream now, he knows he's hooked. Nothing I can do for a little bit. There, there he stops one way. He has the drag sits all the way down on one of these. And he, he's taking line off like there's no drag at all. That's crazy. Oh. Oh, wow. I've got to take a little break here. This fish is a very, very smart fish. You no matter know what you know, fish no more. <laughs> Moving around a little bit, going sideways. That's always a good sign. Hang up. Four minutes ago. It's only been 12 minutes, Tom. To pull me in. There we go. Adios. God, I thought I was leaning on him. Remember, you can always drop and pray. Lord, look at that. He just figured it out. The fight just started. Holy smokes. Oh man. He's heading he's heading for the water, man. Heading for the ocean. There he almost stopped. He went all the way down. Whoa. Wow, he's way out there, dude. Whoa, that big one below. See that? That's the little brother to this one. <laughs> Now we're going back on the little motor now that we're in the softer water. God, the fish is just swimming to sea, man. It's heading for Japan. Wow. Ah. Okay. Now it's, he's coming back. This is a smart fish. Trying to get that slack to get the hook out. Good dude. <laughs> Fish. You're, not ready, you're not ready to start using the rail on the you know, I'm fine. <laughs> oh man. I'm safety on it. Brock, can you switch over to the other side too? There we go. Yeah. Tough stuff. 
I had to decoy him myself now. Get him to rest and then turn his nose. Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> He's too smart for me. It's really true. No matter what we know, yeah. the fish knows more. Davy Jones locker. Woohoo! Getting closer to the bridge. <laughs> it's like T Rex is on down there. <laughs> Get that motor. Now we try and you know what we're trying to do now, right? <laughs> this is one smart fish. He just tried to take me into the motor. <laughs> He has tried seven different trucks on me. You know that? Yeah, yeah. He's a snapper. It's a good thing you're the savvy angle. <laughs> <laughs> my grass. You backed it off a little. Not to get that way Looks like it backed off the hair. Okay, uh -oh. okay. Uh -oh. A little tighter. Uh -oh. There we come. Just made a little headway. First time. There's the bubbles. See the fray? Yeah. Please don't break. <laughs> God, there's always something. You think you've got it, and then look at that. He <laughs> frayed the line. Look at the fray. Wow. Oh, I moved his head. I moved him. How deep are we? Uh, about 75, 80, right okay, here. Okay, so he could go back down. Yeah, I think you got him. Okay. How often do you have to replace that line? I do half spools probably twice a year. But that's you know, probably 200 days on the water. Oh, that's there we go. You can always reverse it. Holy, yeah. come on now. Oh. All the ledges. I'm going to let him go. Up here, it's, it's a tackle leader. Remember I tell have, him that. Have good stuff. I'll let you go, pal. I'm going to let you go. So come My on power out. pro would last maybe a month out of the box. And I'd be gone. I'm lifting. Bubbles. bubbles. We got bubbles. There's either a scuba diver down there or a big sturgeon. Later. So what's going on with the bubbles? Uh -oh. There he is. Very nice. Woo, baby, look at the size of him. He's a monster. Hold so when on. When these sturgeon come up, they get up to about 10 feet and they exhaust that air bladder. That's what those bubbles are. Help me out, pal. All right. Let's measure that baby. Big fish. Oh, there's a bite of the bite of the experience here. It's like a smart fish. Good. Well, you paid a big buck for that. It's still like a 50 bench press. We gotta measure that. Hair under, nine, hair under nine foot. Wow. Nine footer. Wow. Thereabouts. We're gonna go three eighty. Wow. He's big around too. Very nice. That's a good fight. What, what do you estimate, Charlie? Three eighty? Yeah, I was gonna say three sixty five, three seventy five. Three seventy five will go ten pounds less than rock. Hit a hook? Yeah. I'm careful. Harvest hook slide right out. All right, guys. Fight again another day. There he goes. Unhurt. Adios. Adios. Woohoo! I always ask Woo! on every trip. Well, did you get what you came for? Oh yeah, I got what I came for. Well, first off. That's one of the fightingest fish I've ever caught. It may not be the biggest fish I've ever caught, but it was the smartest. You know, he started, first, the, the bite was very delicate. And uh, I feel real good about hooking that fish. And then, he played possum at first, trying to get slack line with the current. Then, when he figured out that didn't work, he swam straight upstream. 
couldn't get into that fast water. Then he tried to get into the shallow water right off the ledge and he managed to snag the sinker between two rocks. This fish is one smart fish. And then he, he went sideways, back and forth zigzagging, and then he went straight downstream and went all the way to the bottom, 120 feet down. We had to drift down almost a half a mile to just keep up with him. He was trying to swim to Japan. Finally, I leveraged him every way possible. Got him. We tried to put extreme stress on him when he tried to rest. And uh, that's what turned his head. Some bubbles came up, and he was ours. All I had to tell him was, hey, don't worry. We're letting you go. So he's still there right now. I might come back next week and try to catch him again.